Well, despite a Supreme Court injunction, a years-long feud between the Water and Sewage Corporation and the Bahamas Utilities and Allied Workers Union only seems to be heating up. Antoine Smith has more on Busawu's latest demonstration. Employees at the Water and Sewage Corporation are calling out what they claim is a pattern of intimidation and victimization. It's like the children in Egypt, we fighting to get the game. Members of the Bahamas Utilities and Allied Workers Union demonstrated at Corporation Headquarters on Wednesday following the suspension of one employee and the termination of Sidney Isaacs. The move isn't sitting well with Union President Dwayne Woods. It appears that anybody could be next. And when you start terminating with notice, my God, that's something for the private sector to do. That's what's normally done in the private sector. That is a creature unheard of in the government sector. But when the government do it, my God, what you expect for anyone else to do? Water and Sewage General Manager Elwood Donaldson is dispelling those claims, saying the corporation acted well within their rights given the bylaws of the industrial agreement. Donaldson confirmed in a statement that an employee was indeed suspended for exhibiting unbecoming behavior, adding that Isaacs was not actually fired, but he simply resigned after abandoning his post for more than four days. Wood says he's calling for management to address a number of issues, alleging that even while they try to fight through the proper legal channels, their hands are still being tied. This whole case has been so cunningly designed that the Booster Wolves case of whether or not we have the validity to strike is tied in to the leadership fight of the management union. And I think that is so unfair. The corporation's general manager maintains that these issues are administrative and that they've been handled by himself and the human resources management team. Wood says, pending a resolution, all matters have been forwarded to their attorney, Wayne Monroe. Antoine Smith, ZNS Network News.